Jack, Jack, Jack. It's one the ultimate last. culinary test. Chat, one last game. Okay? It's 5 a.m. One last, and then, and then. And then the day's gonna begin. We're gonna chill, play a little bit of games. So the sun rises up. Boom, boom, boom. And tonight, the home cooks take on the biggest. Wait, what? No, no. All these spoilers at 9 seconds in. Welcome. Come on down. Go to your this is this is American TV. 50 seconds of spoilers. America is falling on its fucking head. Please. Actual so walk into the kitchen and we see a big, huge box on stage. I'm from Texas. We like everything big. So I'm thinking, boom, right off the bat, advantage cutter. Oh my god. <laughs> There are 13 incredibly talented home cooks standing in front of us. us. Don't let 13 become your unlucky number. It's time for another mystery box challenge. On the count of three, very carefully lift your boxes. One, nothing. Two, empty. Three, lift. Boom, nothing. going to be hacking at the same giant dead creature under the giant box. That's right. One single knife. Not coming. Things are about to get a little cutthroat in here. You'll be stop. using your knife to fill it was under this huge mystery box. Ready to find out what it is? Yes, yes chef. chef. A cow? What is that? What is that? Alright. Uh, Bluefin salmon? Bluefin tuna. Salmon. Salmon. The freshest, most incredible salmon that money can buy. Wild king salmon, line caught from the pristine waters of Alaska. Alaska. We want all of you to make us one composed, master chef worthy salmon dish using one of these salmon. Oh hell yeah. It's time to show these clowns what I really, really got. been to Canada, to be honest. Now, it's time for everyone to come up here and get your salmon. This fish is not something that you can buy at your grocery store. It's like the most amazing salmon I've ever seen. Oh, my god. <laughs> totally almost as big as me. It's a real privilege to be able to have an ingredient like this to work with today. As you can see, it. there is one fish left, and it's not going to waste. It's for us. us. I'm going to fillet it. Ooh. Graham's going to cook it. And Joe, I'm going to eat it. Of course, <laughs> of course. Is everyone ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Just remember, each fish is worth about $450. No pressure. Your 60 minutes starts now. Let's go. 15 seconds gone. Oh, the jacket goes off. Uh... I already sliced into my by mistake. I'm so lost right now. I've never filleted a fish before. You know, I'm just hoping to muscle through it. Damn. No butchering, one cut. It's amazing they're getting a free lesson from probably the most famous chef in the world. And no one's watching. Four minutes gone. That I hacked up. Oh no, no. Oh shit. Two, four, six. In that amount of time, I literally walked to the pantry and got a cauliflower. That first five minutes might have been better served watching him fillet the fish than whatever you were doing, but you make your choices. <laughs> Chef Ramsay's down front, and he fillets his fish like that. All done. You need to go. And then Chef Elliot's in. He's starting to cook. To then, this is second nature. I like the camera shake when they cook. Holy Christian, shit. how are we doing? Chill, dude. Doing uh, a okay. You've clearly filled it before. One time. Yeah, you've done a good job on that. Thank um, you, Chef. What are you doing? Yeah, seared Creole salmon. Use King salmon for Creole. I want to stay right in my little comfort zone of uh, New Orleans. Careful those spices. 
Yes, Chef. You've got just under 50 minutes to nail it. Good yes, luck. Yes, Chef. Thank you. I'm going to baste my salmon in a miso butter and saute broccolini. I don't want to work in a gentleman's club again. Winning this can change not just my life, but my family's life. I want to make my family so proud. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be in the top three. Okay. Holy, what happened to this? Holy I know. shit! It looks like a shark ate oh, it. I know. What did you was, do to it? I was washing it. What did you do? Did you gnaw it? it? It ended up like breaking down. Wow, this is like a disaster. It's What the fuck? She... Elizabeth, you won the last mystery box. Yes, she chewed it. What are you doing? I'm doing an herb breadcrumb herb? Cus crusted baked salmon uh -huh. over a fennel carrot puree, mm -hmm. a cauliflower steak. Filleting looks brilliant. You've never filleted one before? I'm not in the market for $450 fish. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you, Chef. Done. Done? Damn! Like that quick? Done? <laughs> what class did you take? Wow. Please describe the dish. Crispy skin wild king salmon with some red beet threads, crispy golden beet watercress that's finished with lemon yogurt as well as a vanilla bean pistachio vinaigrette. Very good. Looks oh, delicious. Wow. Thank you. Enjoy. Yeah, I know some of these words for sure. 28 minutes gone, 32 minutes remaining. Medic. What's the matter? I need a medic, what have done? please. You okay? Chair, please. Some water, please. Medic. Chair, please. Quick. We have some water, please. Somebody. You okay? I look over. She's passing now. Think... The pressure is so intense, and I think that Elise is just not able to keep up. Take your time. Take your time. Here you go. There you go. Just stay nice and calm. The fuck? I hear at least say medic. I look over, and she's passing now. <sighs> All of you, very quickly. Sadly, Elise has left the MasterChef kitchen. How was it? What? It was perfect. Ah. The creamy richness of the yogurt, salmon perfectly cooked, light, summerful, delicious. Perfect. You have a future <gasps> in this kid. Ah, I hope so. Thank you, sir. Oh, I've stopped cooking. Fuck all that. Elise oh, is never mind. Back. Wow, just 20 minutes left to cook. Put the fire back on. Are you sure? Yes, Jeff, yeah. I'm sure. You've lost quite a bit of time. Yes, you don't I have to sure. cook. Do I want to come back. I'll at least get okay. something on the plate. Okay, let's have a go. That is, that is... You got it, Elise. You can yeah. do it, honey. I just completely folded under the pressure today. So I had to take a few minutes to get my feet back on the ground. Elise, she came back. Definitely take my hat off to you, girl. I'm embarrassed, but ready to cook. The producer is looking strongly at this. Two and a half minutes to go. My thoughts, delicious. Is Elise going to get a dish out? I'm hoping. She seems to have a lot more color in her face now, so fingers crossed. 20 seconds remaining. Finishing touches, come on. 10. Nine, eight, seven. What was six, that? Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Nice, well done. Hands in the air. Well done. Yes, what's all of that? After observing and tasting throughout the challenge, the judges now take one final look to identify three standout dishes. What happened here? The winner of this mystery box will receive a major oh. advantage in the next round. My God. First up, this home cook did a great job of the filleting. Tell looks the salmon so looks good. like it's cooked to perfection. The actual dish looks like it's just been popped out of a restaurant. Congratulations. The girl that we're going to stick in. Christian. Christian. I think Christian is getting better, and he's going to be my main competition. Tell me what the dish is. Blackened salmon with a vegetable melee, a little garlic, and a tomato puree. Oh. So you must be the only person in this country tonight who had the balls to blacken a salmon.
Yeah, just pull. Salmon's cooked beautifully. Pink in the middle, seared on the outside. Beautifully done. Wow, thank you. Love the heat coming through, but the most important is I'm tasting that amazing salmon. And then I get that blend of spice. Is it a fluke, or is this you? This is me on a plate. Good job. Thank you. The sauce and that spice See? mix. See? It's so... Look, it's got that clunk, clunk. I thought, look at it. It's good. Look, look at it. Clunk. It's falling apart. Full of flavor on different Just levels. Pull. It almost makes the fish clunk. heartier. This is one of the best that you've put up. It's really, really good. Thank you. Good job, Christian. It's nothing that I would ever order, yes, sir. cook, or conceptualize. But at the end of the day, it really is tasty. Have you ever won a mystery box? No. Maybe tonight is your night. Okay. The second dish that we'd like to examine further, this home cook's plating is definitely restaurant quality. They have already won one mystery box. Can uh, her. she do it her, again? It's her. Please step forward. That was the Courtney. Best thing. Courtney. They call Courtney, and I'm not surprised because they always call Courtney. And why don't you explain to me what the dish is? A seared salmon on top of some broccolini and okay. an. Okay. You want me to get, I'm, you want me to get, I'm just gonna say, dude, I don't give a shit. You guys, I like my opinion. Okay. They give her a $450 fucking fish that's that, that's jumping up the river, okay? She cuts a half dog shit piece, half cooked crap on some whatever rice it's bed. Really Fuck pasties, all that! Um, cucumber fennel salad. The fish is cooked beautifully. Look at that. Thank you. Color. Yeah, the thank you. The fact that it's not just flaking apart, but it's still holding its shape. This dish is really awesome. Thanks. Great flavors, super light. Good job. Thank you, chef. And how did you cook the salmon? Eat them up. I pan seared it and basted it with some miso butter. And it's delicious. Thank you. Vibrant couscous, light, and it eats easily. <laughs> this uh, has made my night. Well Thank done. Thank you, chef. Thank you. The third and final dish we'd like to take a closer look at this home cook also plated their dish beautifully. The flavors and spices they chose Elizabeth were sure. perfect to spotlight that delicious salmon. No, stop looking, Leslie. Please step forward. Elizabeth. Yeah. Elizabeth is the one to beat. She's my wow girl. Every time I see her plate, I go, wow. This is an herb breadcrumb crusted baked salmon over a roasted carrot and fennel puree, a cauliflower steak with a pine nut caper raisin relish on the side. Now, you know that's very courageous to bake a salmon in a competition like this, unless you're a real pro and you know your oven, overcook it in a second. Mm -hmm. Very well done, good cook. What's the seasoning in the breadcrumbs? Salt, pepper, red pepper flakes, it, it's parsley, too much and for thyme. me. It's too much. The herbs are not overpowering. This dish has a lot going on. I think you might have a real winner on your hands. Good job, Luther. Thank you. Mm. The relish is delicious. Thank you. Uh, filleting skills are brilliant. Thank you, sir. Uh, cool as a cucumber, calm as anything, and it's like your thousandth salmon. Uh, smart, sophisticated, good job. Thank you. Christian wins. Christian wins. Don't, don't say that thing. Uh, well done. Three stunning dishes, let me tell you. Sadly, only one can be the winner tonight. I gotta win this. I've been up here before. Yeah, yeah. I was running. This, this is my thing, okay, Jack? If you cook it well, it's well seasoned, whatever, get, get it. In of itself, okay, the salmon is already a carry. It's already a carry. Just, just put it nice, enhance it. Whatever, it's too much. It's too much, man. I ain't trying to be no damn run up, no mo. It's already a, a super hard carry. The person who paid the most respect to that stunning king salmon. I'm just praying that Chef Ramsay says my name. I really, really, really want to win two in a row. Tonight's king of the kitchen. She must. They do it on purpose. They speak as slowly as they can, put me out of my misery, and say my name. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh -huh. Christian. 
Ah. The person who paid the most respect to that stunning King Salmon. Tonight's King of the Kitchen. Christian, say nothing. Congratulations. Christian. Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, now man. what? Uh, <laughs> man, <I'm not> <laughs> Boom, out the park. I'm the king. King of the kitchen. Wow. So you did something that even we wouldn't have attempted to do. Cajun style, King Salmon. Wow. But uh, you did nail it in a wow. big way. Christian, are you ready to come into the pantry and find out exactly what this huge advantage is? Yes, sir. Let's go, big man. Good job. Oh. Good job, Christian. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. If you have done wrong by Christian in this competition so far, you should be very, very nervous. Uh -oh. The MasterChef Pantry is where this competition can be won or lost. Yes, sir. For your first advantage, you will not have to cook in tonight's elimination. That's, that's every time And for now. your second advantage, everyone will have to cook whatever I put in this basket or whatever I put in this basket. Or whatever I put into mine. Tonight, we'll be choosing things that we'd like to cook with, things that you may find in our fridges at home. Then you'll get to decide Walmart. which judge's basket everyone out there will have to cook with. Give us a few minutes to do our own shopping. Sure. I'm the king. So I don't have to pick anything out. I'm going to let you guys pick it. I was very excited to see what type of flavor they have in their kitchen. Where are the cauliflowers? Right over there, chef. Ah. <laughs> Joe, special being Italian. Merlot. Put a lot of booze in there, a lot of wine. <laughs> it was crazy. Joe, you got enough wine in we there? We got a lot of wine. Some to drink, some to cook with. <laughs> right? Yes, sir. All right. Sweet. Christian. In my basket, you have the bounty of Italy. Parmigiano Reggiano. A basket of ingredients that reflect my own incredible sensibility of fine dining and delicious food. In my basket, you have everything that I like to get my hands on when I'm at the farmer's market. And finally, Christian, in my basket, you have a taste of my home. The UK, as you know, the so founder of great cuisine. Certainly one of the most inspiring baskets. Christian, it's time to choose. My hearty English inspired basket, Graham's home fresh basket, dog shit, tea and cavities, and what else? Olive oily basket. <laughs> I choose. Well done. Who tells Graham? Back in the pantry, Christian got some huge advantages. Christian got to choose what everyone out here or has to cook in tonight's elimination challenge. Now, we gave Christian a choice of three incredible baskets curated by the finest culinary minds in the entire planet. He's been kind of silly. Those baskets were filled by us. Us. That's right. Uh, us. The basket that Christian chose for all of you is waiting for you in the pantry. It's it's Joe. Yeah, it's Joe. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, that's Joe. Lots of wine. Delicious. Mm. Joe's got a winery, so of course the one with four bottles of wine in it is clearly Joe's basket. That's right, everyone. Christian picked my basket. <laughs> Surprise! Those are some of my favorite ingredients. We have beautiful wine. We have the king of all cheeses, Grano Padano. Why is that so San Daniele, chanterelle mushrooms, fresh artichokes, aged aceto balsamico tradizionale di Modena, and of course, garlic. Now, is everybody ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Your 60 minutes starts. Oh. One more thing. Oh, oh okay. Christian. Yes, sir. There's one more advantage that we're going to give you. Something that you don't even know about yet. 
Everyone out here will get one hour to cook their dish. Except one only gets 30 minutes. One person. 30 minutes. That person will only have 30 minutes to cook their dish. Sweet. And Christian, you're going to tell us Courtney. who that person is. Hmm. This person talks a big game, oh, walks no. a big game. Yeah, Courtney, 100%. 100%. But Courtney. I want to see more. That person is Courtney. Courtney. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Ouch. Are you surprised yes, by that decision? Sir. No, not at all. I know how amazing the advantage is, and I know how crucial it is to use it the right way. And Christian took his advantage and threw it out the window. Now, okay. tonight, okay, for the dude. first 30 minutes, I'm sorry, young lady, but you'll just have to stand by your station and watch. Mm -hmm. For everyone else, your 60 minutes starts now. Yeah. Okay. Who's going to struggle and who's going to really why would, excel why would you in this know, Why would you do nothing? Uh, yeah, I'm not comfortable with Elise. I think she's going to struggle uh, big time. Um, I think Iran's going to struggle tonight. They're not familiar with these ingredients. I think that uh, the obvious it's one is the one prepped, that's at the biggest you know? disadvantage here. Courtney, strong cook, but half the time. That's a big, big loss. But she looks AFK in her head. I'm going to make a porcini and artichoke ravioli. This is the second time that I will have ever made pasta dough. So there is definitely a lot of risk in this challenge for me. I am very familiar with these ingredients, and I'm confident I can push through. And it's not a 10-pound fish. So <laughs> I think I'm off to a good start. Cutter. Yes, Chef. How are we doing? Doing all right. What's the dish? I'm going to do some little flatbread crisp pizzas. And why pizza, though? I like pizza, and I just want to do a spin on pizza, and I like the ingredients that we got, and I think it'll come out with a good pizza. Yep. So it's all about what Cutter likes again, not what the judges want to see. Small pizzas? Yep. Wow. So how do you make a pizza dough with no yeast? I'm just going to use an egg and some baking powder, just kind of fluff it up okay. a little bit. Yep. Uh, you've got just under 40 minutes to nail it. Good luck. Thanks. All right. Hi. What do you got going so far? Um, right now, I'm making a savory tiramisu. Savory what? tiramisu? Yeah, so these are... Uh, lady fingers with all Where did you invent those? that? I don't know, I just... This could either be the most amazing thing ever and I'll have to put it on my menu, or you know what else could happen. <laughs> Who do you think what? is most in danger to go home? I think Courtney, because of the time restraint yeah. she has. Have you started yet, Courtney? Nope, I start in about 30 seconds. Five seconds till she starts. Yeah. Courtney, you may start. Thank you, Chef. Courtney, she probably had a dish right off the bat. And then he hits her with that penalty. 30 minutes. She has to rethink her dish. I'm really worried about her. Yep. OK. What is that? You got this, Elise. Elise, how are you feeling? You good? No. Oh, no. I messed up my pasta dough, and there's what nothing else I can do. You do not give up. This is pretty much, this is pretty much over for me. <laughs> I know that the dish is going to fail, and I'm ready to just say, like, this is not going to work, and I don't want to finish it because it's going to be a disaster. Crying again. I'm so ready to throw in the towel. Don't, don't help her. They better fucking, they better fucking not. At least how you feeling? You good? No. Oh, no. I messed up my pasta dough, so this is pretty much over for me. You do not give up. Why is it messed up? It's too dry. I don't know how to incorporate more liquid into it. I do not know what I did wrong. Well, it's like no, slightly hey, bread for hey, me. Hey, 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 yeah. hey, 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 what the fuck is I this? I cannot give up now. OK. It's okay. so, so bad. Come on, Elise, you got it. There's something to salvage in there. Thank you, Chef. No, no more flour. No more. We don't give up. I'm sorry, Chef. Thank Continue you. Continue with that. I'll get back on it, Chef. Uh, you can do it, and you're not going to throw the towel in like that. OK. There you go. You take over the rest. I will. Yes. Thank you for really helping Good me. Luck. All right, you pasta makers out there, you got 20 minutes, you guys. Come on.
Hey, Leslie, don't get tanked. What are you kidding me? I'm 56. That's all I do. <laughs> okay, dude. What are you making, Courtney? I'm doing some beautiful okay. mushroom ragu um, with some baby artichokes on top. 30 minutes is not a lot of time, so if today's her last day in the kitchen, hell yeah, let's go. Next. Now, that looks good. What's the plan? Thank you. Um, I'm going to make a breakfast lasagna with a prosciutto mushroom, like kind it. of like a cream sauce layered with fresh oh, pasta. Now, that sounds like something I want to eat, Dad. Yeah. That sounds like your recipe. What's that? A breakfast lasagna in an hour? Big Willie, describe the dish. It's going to be a tomato soup with a fried egg on top with a oh. uh, flatbread. Sounds weird. So we're not really going Italian here. Well, I guess not. Good luck. Okay. Will doesn't give a shit. Uh, fascinating, yeah. yeah. Amazing. I'm seriously concerned about at least the mm. pasta dough was dry as anything. Right, like bread crumb, right? Bread crumb. Right. Totally at this point, with 13 comb cooks left, if you can't make a fresh pasta, you shouldn't be in the MasterChef kitchen. Yeah. Look at Iran's. She's uh, making a savory tiramisu. That doesn't make sense. Um, tiramisu is a dessert. Right. Does that work? If it comes yeah. out right, it could be really amazing. Or an absolute embarrassment. Or a yeah, complete it's... disaster. 58 minutes gone, two minutes remaining. Start thinking of plating up, guys. Look at go, will they? It looked like when they put cement in, like, the, like, like, like the steel pipes or whatever, dude. Focus, 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 focus. Last 10 seconds. 10, 9, no, they put, eight, when they put a cement in, like, a seven, basin. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stop. That's terrible. Hands in the air. Go home. Well done. Great job. First up, the person that Christian targeted and had half the amount of cooking time of everybody else, Courtney. Really? Describe the dish, please. A chanterelle mushroom ragu on top of spaghetti that I've tossed in basil-infused olive oil with crispy artichoke hearts and a crispy pancetta. Christian put the target on your back. How does that make you feel? Okay, it, looks well, good. it was basically a compliment. I mean, he sees me as competition, and I put everything I had into it to prove to him that I'm here to stay. Mm -hmm. It's about the ingredients. When you think of Italian cuisine, it's about that rustic charm. Uh, you've brought that. Ragu, delicious. Love the saltiness of the ham on top. Uh, but by and large, just looking at the dish, it looks like it took you 60 minutes as opposed to 30. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The artichoke, they're perfectly cooked. You braised them down, you caramelized them. 30 minutes, I think you did a, a really now, great now dish. And now throw or something. Now, now, fucking. Boil water, 10 minutes. Spaghetti like this al dente, seven, eight minutes. Mm -hmm. 18, 20 minutes. You didn't have much wiggle room. That's right. She played it safe. How do you played figure it's safe? I mean, from what I saw, she just do everything in a pie and just clap them heels, and hopefully it came together. <laughs> you, with the advantage, could have easily picked five people in this room and sent them home. You might have wasted a pretty big advantage on a very strong competitor who shielded off your attack. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, th th that was a little scripted, but it's OK. He didn't target me. He put a spotlight on me. And that's where I perform the best, is in the spotlight. Okay. Uh, next up, cutter, please. Oh, Thank my you. god. Wow. Is that it? That's it, chef. That's it. Holy mackerel. Christian gave Courtney 30 minutes. Uh, did you give cutter 10 minutes? Uh, Guys, describe yeah, the dish, please. That's it's an Italian artisan pizza lunchable. with a basil, <laughs> oregano. Hold on a minute. Just let me interrupt you there. An artisan pizza. Well, that's what the I menu says to... when I go to the pizza restaurant that I like. And it's, they call them artisan pizzas, and they list all the different pizzas. An artisan pizza. Huh? No, no, but I, I... I don't know what else to name. Yeah, my name's Gordon Ramsay, not Stevie Wonder. <laughs> It's an artisan pizza with a basil, oregano... Hold on a minute. Just let me interrupt you there. An artisan pizza. 
Well, that's what the I menu says when I go to the pizza restaurant that I like. Right, well, first of all, I feel like I'm at a kid's party and some mini pizzas come out. <laughs> Maybe describe it again, and I'll try and hear it this okay, time. Okay, so I have a pizza here with a tomato, basil, and oregano sauce, prosciutto, and mushroom, and artichoke topping. Why a pizza? It's I didn't want to just throw the spaghetti in the pot and boil the spaghetti, and I wasn't that comfortable in making the pasta, so I made a dough. It's just not good enough. It's not Master Chef. Damn. Damn. Man. Wow. Enjoy your mini pizza. All kidding aside, the ingredients I picked out were meaningful to me. Important ingredients in every kitchen. Do you know where the grana padana cheese comes from, what milk it's made out of? No, sir. Do you know what a caper is? I know what they taste like, but I don't know what they are. Do you are. know what balsamic vinegar is? It's the black salad dressing. This is the difference between excelling in this competition and being sent home. Why did you put sauce underneath it as well? I mean, if it had any chance of being a pizza, it'd be crispy. I was just trying to get some color on the plate. Bend it, bend that shit. Just bend it. Oh. This is a waste of our time and your time in this kitchen. Spit and bend. It pissed Joe off, it pissed Gordon off, but I thought it tasted good. It'd definitely be a piece of what I would order. Next up, please, Leslie. It's handmade ravioli. The filling is grana padana, prosciutto, chanterelles, and artichoke. Great technique on the pasta, the filling, the cooking of the artichoke. Sauce is a little heavy, a little grainy, but plating is the biggest thing we got to work yes. on. Yes. Because as everyone gets better, that is something that can get you sent home. Yes. Thank you. Big Willie, please. This is going to look disgusting. You know It is a uh, tomato soup with a fried egg with flat bread. Mm. How would you rate that? About an eight. An eight. That's literally seven points too high. Someone's going home tonight. And a tomato soup with a fried egg on top doesn't float my boat. <laughs> Next, Christine, come on up. Wow, that looks good. What are you calling these? So it's a mushroom caramella with a brown butter sage sauce with crispy prosciutto and crispy sage on top. Great pasta, very thin, good filling, nice seasoning, good use of the brown butter. Well, I expected a lot, and you delivered a lot. Wow. This is really quite good. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, Iran. Let's go, please. Uh-oh. All right, describe the dish, please. It's a savory tiramisu with prosciutto olive oil ladyfingers and a <laughs> mushroom prosciutto. A savory tiramisu. Oh, my God. Have you been drinking, young lady? <laughs> no, I don't even know how to open the bottle. Good one. Didn't think it was going to work when you put it together. Hated the sound of the idea. Tasting it. It is absolutely delicious. Um, I love the lady's fingers. I love the seasoning. What? I see, at 18 years of age, your knowledge of Italian cuisine may be very limited, but your cooking ability is second to none. There's very little I can fault in that. Thank you. What? Good job. Thank you. All right, Iran. Let's try Elizabeth. Straight from New York City, what do we have? We have a breakfast lasagna made with Love grana it. padano, chanterelles, and prosciutto, and a salad of baby artichoke hearts with capers uh, marinated in champagne, lemon, and olive oil. How many layers? Uh, there are five layers. And what's inside of it? Layers of uh, bechamel with bechamel. prosciutto. Then I mixed in the chanterelles and the prosciutto, and then I just did grana padano layered on top. Wow. <laughs> That's great. This is amazing. Thank you. Great use of bechamel. This is using the ingredients, creating other products from the base ingredients, putting them together in an amazing dish. Have you been to Italy? No, I have not. This is like taking a trip to Italy. Great job. Beautiful dish. Joe is like gushing over my dish, and I'm like, I think I had like a like a deer in headlights, like OMG face going on, because I just can't believe that he likes my lasagna so much. Okay. At least, then please, let's go. Uh, right, first of all, how are you feeling? 
I'm okay. I'm just disappointed um, because I feel like I failed today in both challenges. So. Oh, please. <sighs> Why did you give up so easily when you can cook? <sighs> I have just lost some confidence in the kitchen, and it's uh, it's very difficult to get it back. You make one mistake and you disintegrate. Yeah, she quit all season. You're correct. That's exactly what happens. Tell me about the dish. It's roasted mushroom and steamed artichoke ravioli with a red wine reduction tomato sauce. So it's not a pie? No, it's not a pie, but it's a sad ravioli. Oh, it's a sad ravioli. <laughs> Don't say it's delicious. Give me a break. No, the music, the music. It'll taste. Describe the taste of the tomato sauce. It needs seasoning. Yeah, and this is it. You are a very smart, intelligent girl. I just don't know how you can present a dish that's so bland. It's a failure. I understand. Are you giving up? No, I'm trying not to give up. No, I don't think I've given up. It just tastes like it. Damn, okay. Damn, what a shame. I just don't know how you can present a dish that's so bland. It's a failure, I understand. Are you giving up? Thanks no, too. I'm trying not to give up. What a shame. No, I don't think I've given up. It just tastes like it. I didn't need to. I didn't need to walk up there and have them taste that dish to know that it was bad. Damn. Who asked? What a night. Uh, first off, uh, Christian, please come down from the balcony and make your way to your station. Thank you. Danielle? It was a really tough challenge. They didn't even cook There yet? were two standout dishes tonight. The first one absolutely went outside of the box. This home cook is one of the toughest Jamie? home cooks here. Courtney. She's also the youngest. Oh, wow, Iran. Iran, congrats. The other great dish showed that the home cook who put it together has incredible technique and knowledge. Every single component was perfectly executed. Tonight's winning dish belongs to... Courtney. Elizabeth. Congratulations. Oh, I yeah. I continue to be amazed by my own success. I'm just going to revel in feeling great for a little bit. Congratulations to Aran and Elizabeth. You will both be team captains in our upcoming challenge. Congratulations to you both. <laughs> I'm going home. No, hold on. So done. Normally, we would ask the three worst dishes to come down and stand in front of us. Tonight, there are two obviously bad dishes. Willie. Can the two cooks that are responsible Wait. for those dishes please put your hand up? Does that mean that Willie goes home? I'm asking for two. The worst two. Elise, you're correct. Cutter, you're not. Elise and Cutter, please make your way down. What? Willie, yes, yours was pretty bad. But these two are in a league of their own. Elise, tonight's ravioli was dreadful. The judges have said that several I get it times I it get only it. takes yeah, the Cutter's a content buffer. If, they, if, they, if there's a tight squeeze on the cooking, they put Cutter in and they cut him out of the competition. One bad dish to send you home. And tonight... Escape, go to Andy. It's mine. It's mine. Cutter, you've been in the bottom across five challenges. Wow. Produced some good dishes. But it's not your cooking ability. It's your stubbornness that's stopping you from taking it to the next stage. Love the girl to death, but Elise is a baker that can't bake. I think I'm better than her. And I mean, it's nothing against her as a person. I just think in the kitchen, I'm a better, I'm better than her. 
or get artisan. The unlucky 13th individual in this competition. The one that will be leaving the Masterchef kitchen tonight. The one that we think we cannot work with any longer. <laughs> Lunchable will die. That person is... Cut it. Elise. Elise. Your time is done in the Masterchef kitchen. Say goodnight to Cutter. Um. Elise, my darling, go back home. Convince yourself exactly what you need to do. But don't get in a tangle when you make a mistake. Bounce back. Trust me, I've made a thousand of them. Now more than everyone in this room put in. together. <laughs> and you need to bounce back. Great baker. And every time from now on in, I come across a pie. There's only one person I'm going to be thinking about. It's you. OK? OK. You made come a lunchable. Thank you all for the opportunity. Oh, you're very welcome. Have a nice trip back home. Thank you. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, send him home. Thank you, darling. Come here. Yep. Oh, dear. Even though I'm going home, I still love food and I'm proud to have been part of the top 13. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you, chefs. Thank you. This is a once in a lifetime experience that I'll remember forever. Uh, sure. You nailed it. Uh, for me, one of the best dishes of the night. Really Thank well you so much, chef. And I hope that it helps me. You are going to cook. Get a chance Us. to start a new Us. career, something that could totally change my life. And for that, I'm incredibly thankful for the experience. No, no more.